Hey everybody, Jeremy Morgan here, Innovative IDM, Business Development Engineer, Southeast Houston area. Uh, today we're going to talk gearboxes. Uh, from the largest manufacturer of cyclotal gearboxes in the world, Neptesco, uh, we're going to talk about their RV models today. So if you deal with robotics or machine tools, antenna systems, turntables, positioners, medical equipment, what have you, uh, or even servos in general, uh, this video is for you. Check it out. So this is the RV series uh, gearbox from Neptesco. And as you can see, this is just a plastic cutout version. Of course, all of them are, are metal. Uh, this is just so you can understand the inner workings of this gearbox. Uh, let me actually show you this in action. So you see here, this gearbox, it has uh, 360 degrees of contact. And it's a, a two-stage reduction gearbox structure. And so what that gives you, it actually gives you a wide range of ratios to use within the same outer diameter, which makes it a more compact machine. And the uh, high speed ratio enables you to use a smaller servo motor, which will reduce your servo motor cost. And it gives you uh, enhanced machine accuracy plus reduced heat buildup. So the uh, pin and gear structure here you see um, is built to give you a minimal backlash of less than one arc minute. And you also get high shock load resistance. So these gearboxes can actually withstand uh, five times the rate of torque, which is really, really uh, impressive. And so the uh, integrated outer low support bearing structure you see here, uh, that's built in to help absorb uh, external forces and torques, which allows a large load capacity as well with no additional support structures. Uh, so that's also, the pin and gear structure is going to enable you to have uh, enhanced machine accuracy and durability. So the two-sided structure here uh, gives you a high torsional rigidity, uh, minimal vibration, high torque, and a minimum installation space requirement. So these guys are pretty easy to maintain. Uh, all you have to do is just uh, grease or oil uh, the gears from time to time. It all depends on how rigorous uh, you're using them in an application. And uh, because of these gearboxes and the ratios that it has and being able to potentially use a smaller servo motor, uh, it's also going to give you uh, energy savings as well in the long run. And uh, what's really, really cool about these gearboxes is that you get a very low breakaway torque as well. So let's get down into the uh, specifics as far as how cyclotal gearboxes work for uh, those who would like to know. So here's the layout of a cyclotal gearbox. And let me actually go over the principle of operation as far as how these cyclotal gearboxes work. Um, so the uh, rotation of the servo motor is transmitted through the input gear to the spur gears, and then the speed is reduced according to the uh, gear ratio between the input gear and the spur gears. Uh, the crankshafts rotate at the same speed as they are directly connected to the spur gears, right? Uh, two RV gears are then mounted on the crankshafts with needle bearings, as you can see here. Then when the crankshafts rotate, the RV gears rotate eccentrically. So what happens after that um, is the pins are then arrayed in grooves inside the case. Uh, the number of pins is always one more than the number of teeth on the RV gear. Okay, so when the crankshaft make one complete rotation, uh, the RV gear teeth then rotate one step in opposite direction. So the rotation is then transmitted to the output shaft via the crankshafts. Uh, the rotation speed of the crankshafts is then reduced according to the number of pins. Uh, so ultimately, the total speed is a product of the speed ratio of the first and second stage reduction. Pretty cool, right? Okay. So let me uh, touch on lubrication as well. I kind of touched on it before, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about it. So lubrication is pretty essential to the proper functioning of a gearbox. Uh, as you see here, Nitesco actually has their own proprietary uh, grease that they uh, advise uh, their uh, consumers to use on their gearboxes when doing preventative maintenance, and that's to improve the lifespan of the gearbox. Uh, so adequate levels of uh, lubrication benefit a gearbox by lubricating the teeth and removing heat uh, generated from operations. So uh, you also want to use lubricant on various bearings inside the gearbox as well. 
So adequately lubricating uh, these elements in your gearbox will actually improve your mechanical efficiency, reliability, and it's a very low maintenance as well over life of the gearbox. So I wanted to add a few notes about uh, Neptesco, the company, as we've been working with them for quite some time now. And they've been making cyclotic gearboxes for, for years, for decades actually. And um, they actually have a U.S. headquarters here in Michigan. Um, and between them and us, there's a lot of inventory that we have. And so uh, depending upon the application and the type of uh, gearboxes you need, uh, we can potentially have it in stock or uh, have it manufactured for you, custom built, not a problem. And another thing too, is that if you have, uh, if you already have a robot in your facility, there is a good chance that you already are working with uh, Neptesco's gearboxes because they do work with a lot of the, the, the OEMs uh, with robots as well, with um, specking in uh, gearboxes from Yaskawa's to uh, Fanuke's, just to name a few. Uh, anyway, so if you have any questions, comments, or want to have more information, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, Jeremy Morgan, Innovative IDM. Uh, look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.